Hey y'all, it's girl Lady Will and welcome back to the channel. So today we decided to do a upgrade video. Uh, we had the bikes for about two years now, so it's time. Let's start with um, the visor from Clockwork. This was actually one of the first uh, upgrades we did. I think I'm gonna do a taller one because I get some of the wind buffering over my head. So more to follow on that. Um, the next thing I did, well, it wasn't the next. So this is not in any particular order, but we from the starting bike. This is one of the last things I did. We installed the custom dynamics, um, lights, turn signal. So it lights up, fair lights, lights up and turn signal on both ends. Um, then we upgraded my headlight. For those that of you know, I, in my last video, in my Key West video, I can't see at all at night. So um, George from Sidewalk Customs recommended this light. This is LP6 by Baja Design. The hubby already said that uh, it was bright in the daytime. So I can't wait to test it out at night. But they said word of advice that no one should ride in front of me. So we shall see. Okay, moving right along. Upgraded the highway pegs with the karaokans. I believe those karaokans, the floorboards and the shifter. Then um, my derby cover. Those of you know that I'm retired warrant officer. Um, that was one of my proudest moments while serving in the military. So moving right along, we upgraded the seat. This is Bad Boy Cycles. Um, the jury's still kind of out on it all because we don't know or I don't know and have nothing to compare it to but I do know it's better than the stock seat so bad boy cycles scorpion edition the, the backrest passenger seat which will never be used um this sissy bar is also by bad boy cycles which I love it because it matched the the back seat rest or the backrest matches the seat so I love that. Uh, because of more standard, these didn't come with the docking station, so we ended up buying it. Uh, I have a rack for when I go travel. I have my rig rack. I put a picture in there uh, so y'all can see that. All right, coming on over here to this side of the bike. So one of the things that we really wanted, and I'm a music person, I love to listen to music. So that's one of the things, one of the first upgrades that we did. Um, and we upgrade. See, and then we lost some of our space, but it was well worth it. So we got Sidewalk Customs that hooked us up. There you go, right there. Then we got 10 PRVs. And then there's the tweeter. All right. Music. I do have Diamond Audio in the Farron along with uh, two amps. I believe they sound digital. Then moving along on this side again. So I have a stage two um, cams an exhaust uh, and the air filter is a trash. Love it. I want to talk about with the exhaust is the two in one. And when I tell you that <laughs> I paid for the dummy pipe and I almost didn't because for $650 roughly, I think it was at the time, this pipe served no purpose other than looks. So, but I like what you do to one, you got to do to the other. Yeah, I know. We added the saddlebag lights again, custom dynamics. Uh, this right here, if you know, I wear my yellow vest and this is my heat light vest. Um, it's for safety measures. A lot of people think it's just a yellow vest, but it's not. Um, it serves dual purposes, visibility, as well as if God forbid something happened and I fall off this bike, this is connected to the bike and once um, if I fall off, it snatches, it blows up. It's like an airbag. So lastly, I had Sidewalk Custom install a connection for the jump box. These cords are directly connected to the battery. So if I need to jump, all I got to do is plug right here versus putting it on the starter and finding the ground and just jump the bike off. Lastly, the bell that was gifted by the husband per the, the guideline. Oh, we did install our crash bars, um, saddlebag guards, because it didn't come with that as well. And my handlebars, these are factory 47s, 12 inch. Uh, we also upgraded the grips, nothing special. Those are Harley. Our future upgrades, I would like to upgrade the suspension. 
Um, I'm torn between Nawashi's, Olin's, and Legends. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. So far, the jury is on Legends, but I like to be a little different, so we'll see. And then I would love to upgrade my tire to a 21 inch wheel, but I'm gonna wait till I need a tire before I do that. And I may do the rotors as well, um, just to give it a different look. And the forks, probably make those chrome as well. And then after that, that's it. She'll be a wrap. All right, that's it. Y'all lay around for it.